What were my favourites in 2021? Well, if you want to find out what they were, you know what to do. Stay tuned. Centurion Leech UX is on sale and links are in the description. Hello, my name's Scott and this is The Centurion. First and foremost, I'd like to wish you all a very happy new year and uh, let's hope that um, it's certainly a better one than the last two that we've had. Um, they haven't been easy on us and it's been quite dreadful for a lot of people as well. Um, so. Fingers crossed, let's hope for the best. Um, now, just before Christmas, a lot of people were doing their um, their favourites of last year or favourites of 2021. And um, there were so many of them coming out at the same time. I thought, I'm not going to do mine now because it will just be another one. And you'll be bored by the time you get to mine. So... I thought I'll leave it till after Christmas. So here we are. Um, it's only going to be a quick one. There's only five um, that are really standout ones that I got last year. But to me, they really are fantastic. So these are my five favourite fragrances of 2021. Now we shall start off with, and I've mentioned this one quite a few times. Make sure the front is polished up. And it is Ruby of Tamir. Now it's got top notes of violet leaf and galbanum, and then in the midst we've got dry fruits, tobacco, coffee, and benzoin, and then in the base we have cypress, incense, agar, and then cedar. Now this is a beautiful tobacco fragrance. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's ambery, it's incensey, it's sweet, it's very sweet. It's got beautiful dried fruits in it. Um, it's semi gourmand to me, um, but mixed with that tobacco, absolutely gorgeous. There's no bitterness to it at all. Um, it says for him, but I think that that would smell great on anyone. Um, I wouldn't say it was so much a daytime fragrance, and certainly not in the heat of summer, but an evening fragrance if you're doing something nice or if you're cuddling up with a significant other. Um, absolutely cracking and the bottles are absolutely beautiful all patterned around there subtly patterned um, that's supposed to be the shape of the ruby of Tamer. Um, I have done a review of this so if you want to check that out um, then please do but yes that's by Beijing the ruby of Tamer, absolutely gorgeous now the next one now, this one I was after for a very very long time but I kept putting it off even though I loved it and still do um, but it's quite pricey um, and it's only a little bottle um, but this is by Wilhelm Perfumes or Perfumes and that is Mango Skin this is such a gorgeous gorgeous ylang ylang it's in my eye it is absolutely gorgeous it's got a beautiful tropical ylang ylang to it it's sweet the mango is a ripe juicy mango the notes in there are mango orange and violet then there's frangipani mango blossom and ylang ylang and then there's blackcurrant musk red wine and civet now civet i obviously it, I, I don't get any of that at all because it's just the sweetness of the fruits in this and that tropical feel it's like a gorgeous tropical drink laying on the beach in the shade with the sun lapping at your feet. It's, uh, it's just a dream, it really is. It's, if you've never ever tried that, I urge you to, because it is so beautiful. And like I said, the mixture of the frangipani and the ylang ylang, absolutely gorgeous. Um, but yes, that's Mango Skin by Wilhelm Perfumery. The next one is another one that I've been after for a very, very long time. And this is by Mars Milano, and it is Lost Alice. And this is such a beautiful orris irisy type of fragrance um probably the best i think i've got a leak in the bottle i have fingers are absolutely sodden um absolutely gorgeous it really is um in the notes we have ambrette which is musk mallow 
bergamot, black pepper, and clary sage. And in the midst, we have black tea, orris, carrot, and white rose. And in the base, we have milk, sandalwood, and brew. Now, on spraying this, I will spray a little, it's a great spray on this. It's that orris. It really is beautiful and rooty and oh, it's just to die for, it really is. But it's, there's a sweetness to it as well. To me, it's a mixture of a creamy, orris, rooty type of fragrance. It's, it's, there's a sweetness to it. Um, it's, it's really hard to describe as in, there's almost, there's almost a woodiness to it. And obviously that's probably, it's coming from the sandalwood it, that where the creaminess is coming from as well. It's gorgeous. And I don't necessarily get rose from it, but there is a, a floral floating around in there. But it's just so gorgeous. It's, it's just a beautiful, rooty, irisy, woody type of fragrance. And I absolutely love it. And my hands are absolutely soaked in it. I can't believe the bottle's leaking. Never mind. Um, yes, but that was Mas Milano's Lost Alice. One of my favorites of the year. This was a gift for my birthday from some great people in the community. Um, and this fragrance is Papillon's Anubis. Now, as you probably already know, I'm a huge fan of like history when it comes to Egyptian history, Roman history, Viking history, so forth, all of that. Um, and this is unbelievable. This is a ticket to Egypt. It is a walk down the Valley of the Kings. It is uh, discovering new things in a pyramid, walking around the tombs, unbelievable absolutely gorgeous leather fragrance um in the notes we have suede myrrh olibanum saffron and immortal then there's jasmine and pink lotus and this is it's got it's got huge heaps of incense in it but it's it's got a slightly medicinal as well so you could almost you, you can picture walking around around a tomb inside a pyramid it's just even though I've never ever been to one that in my head is what it would smell like it is it really is transportive and it takes you there and it's it's just it's probably not going to be for everyone because it's it's strong but if you like your leather fragrances wow you are gonna love this um it's it's just gorgeous. It's a, it's a trip to Egypt and more. Um, that is Papillon's Anubis. This next one is such a bargain. It's a 100ml bottle and it's by Rose Arabia and it's called Tafi. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bottle as you can see. Really heavy glass, heavy lid and such a beautiful rose oud fragrance. So subtle and great sprayer. And it's almost boozy. It's got two of my favorite roses in there, which is Bulgarian rose and Tafe rose. And it is just so, so boozy. But there's a subtleness to it. Now in the notes, you have mandarin orange and bergamot. Then in the mid says Tafe rose, Bulgarian rose, and ylang ylang. And then in the base says oud, praline, saffron, and vanilla, and then patchouli and ambergris. Now, I think it's the ylang ylang that really lifts this fragrance and gives it a different dimension to some of the other rose oods that I've got and some of them that you may well have smelled. This is nothing like any of them. Um, it's such a unisex fragrance. It's, it's got class and style, sophistication, and like the, the fruitiness of it is almost boozy. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Again, I think you could probably get away with wearing that as long as you didn't go crazy on spraying it during the day and in hot weather. But I would probably wear that or keep that more for early evening, evening wear. But it is a classy, classy fragrance and such a good buy. 
They are my five favorites of 2021. I hope you liked the video, so please like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell just to let you know when I'm dropping another video in. Well, as I said, Happy New Year and um, keep safe out there and I will see you very, very soon. Thank you.